I've been using Critic for, I think, uh, just about two years now. And um, it really, it really has been a game changer for me. Uh, my my previous methods uh, were a little bit clunky, and the students weren't too keen on it. And and this has really streamlined my efforts. It's a problem that most faculty do um, too little time to do what we're supposed to do. As part of my classes, um, their general ed courses, we're required to have a writing component that's significant. And so to kind of get through um, a writing exercise that's meaningful, uh, I need some help. <laughs> and so peer assessment has been sort of a, a lifesaver in helping me assign a lot of writing, and I do assign a lot of writing, um, without you know, losing all the other things I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I'm a pretty senior professor, so I do read my student evaluations, but I'm not as tied to them as some more um, junior faculty, but I would say that it is reflecting very nicely in my student evaluations. The students really do like the process. It makes it much less painful to write about neuroscience. Plus, they're exposed to their classmates' writing, and that I think we don't do very often. Um, so they don't really know where their writing stacks up, but if, you know, we spotlight, like Dirk said, I spotlight um, what I think are exceptional papers. And so the students who are not doing so well in their grades, they look at those, and they go, oh, wow, okay, um, that's a good model. I know how to fix mine now. And, and that's very useful. You know, they always said that the best way to learn something is to teach something. And the critic platform allows these students to do that when they actually evaluate um, uh, their students' work, uh, you know, and they give feedback, etc. It's just the interaction's so important and so special. I'm able to spend my time more in the areas that I feel are more powerful for me as a coach and, and as a mentor. And, and like I said, I, I don't want to grade students in a vacuum either. You know, again, this is just my opinion. Maybe, sure, we're at this point, we're supposed to be the experts, but especially, like I said, on the, on the graduate level, to have the students involved with each other um, you know, it, it, again, it's, it, it, it and, and the rubrics are pretty black and white. They're very black and white and they're very good. And, uh, it's, it's interesting. I mean, I taught young professionals these days, maybe I'm getting on a little bit of a tangent, but so many of them, at least I see compared to years ago, they're afraid about making a mistake, you know, and, and they not only want feedback, uh, but they want direction. And I think, you know, with them interacting with each other and giving you them feedback, I think the feedback and the evaluation is more is more powerful than just the direction because you're leading them in the direction to find out for themselves. And and I, I'm really big on uh, you know the independent part of it and self learning. Uh, yes, it saves times on grading, and it allows it allows it allows me to serve like you say more of a, a coach and a mentor. I said that before. It definitely improves student engagement, uh, especially in the um, our online courses. So, uh, you know, and, and, and you say deeper learning. I, again, I'm kind of repeat myself. You know, like I said, the old adage: the best way to learn something sometimes is to teach it. And, and when you are evaluating and giving feedback in the critic forum, that's really what you're doing in many in many respects. Yeah. And it is timely because, you know, you lay it out there. If they have to put their um, uh, you know, their first post, their creation by a certain time, they have to give the feedback, uh, evaluation by a certain time and the, re you know, the feedback by a certain time. So it's, 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 it, it holds them the task and uh, it's, it's good. Mm -hmm.